In this video, we'll be talking about Forge and Theater updates coming to the MCC and how we will be able to test these features in Halo 2 Anniversary Flight coming soon. Stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So remember a few videos back, I mentioned how this dev update that we received for the month of March is gigantic. Well, this is another video breaking down a portion of that update. This update, we're going to be talking about Forge and Theater coming to PC, specifically Halo Reach, and a little bit what we can test about in the flighting for this upcoming Halo 2 anniversary flight. So Postums actually sat down with a few guys of the publishing team at 343 to work out some of these details about what's going on with the Forge and Theater called the Thorge update, if you will. So Postums got some answers from Dana Jerbeck, if that's how you pronounce his name. Hopefully I'm not messing that up. He's part of the publishing team involving the Forge and theater side of things. So he gave some very good details that help us kind of give an idea why this is taking so long to come into the MCC. And hopefully this kind of gives a little more light on the process behind it. Keep in mind, Forge has never been on PC, except for Halo 5, but that was a whole different story right there. This has never been done with the classic games right here. You know, Halo CE and Halo 2 were the only games ever released on PC initially and so bringing these features over the forge is a whole new ballpark of a, what they need to be adding into the game and what needs to be done and so understand that when it comes to this that's why it's probably taking so long but let's get into the details here for you guys so in this update they talk about the two different parts of forge which are going to be the tool and feature side of things along with the content side of things as well so first off let's start talking about the tools and features coming with forge now an important thing they bring up which i think a lot of people need to take in consideration when it comes to understanding what Forge and the MCC means, they have to mention this, saying that to maintain consistency across all of the titles in MCC, we have been doing these changes in conjunction to help maintain consistency and unify experience. We want to create a more cohesive experience so when you jump into Forge in Halo Reach to Halo 4, it's not jarring. Now they do mention also in this update that yes, they do understand that each Forge has its own uh, nuances to it. So there are going to be some things that are going to be a little different, but they want to try to make sure that your basic controls of what you come in to jump into play on Forge are the same. Obviously a lot of things have been changed between each one, so you're trying to unify it. You got to pick and choose which ones to you know, prioritize and stuff like that. So yeah, it can be a little complicated, a little too into the weeds when it comes to talking about this kind of stuff, but it's very important to know. And also keep in mind, it's not just going to be just releasing Forge on PC. On the content side of things, that they're also looking to expand on it quite a bit. They mentioned in this update, talking about objects in the campaign that weren't available in Forge originally, stuff like civilian vehicles, vehicle variants, and just cool stuff that they wish they could have in Forge. Well, they're going to be trying to bring it into this as well. I do remember a few updates ago, they it showed like a bit of a screenshot kind of showing some of the unique things that you can bring into Forge, like the forklift. So as they kept developing Forge for PC, they kind of kept asking the question, why stop there? Because many of the Reach DLC maps have very unique items to bring into the game. So they're like, well, why not bring those items also to Forge World and Tempest? As they're looking to have maybe Forge World and Tempest to be kind of the main uh, canvases when it comes to forging in this game and not a whole lot of forging on your default maps. Another cool example when it comes to content being added to it is the mention here saying, Reach Campaign offered many more objects with strong visual unity that could be added variety to maps. Some were chosen for their strong gameplay utility like weapon cabinets that will refill your ammo for your weapon. New ways to help empower people to do things in the gameplay side that maybe weren't possible before. So you can see that they're not just doing a copy paste of what Forge is when it comes to Halo Reach. They're looking to add more and expand on it so when the people get to it, they have a chance to play around with it. Obviously, uh, modders have been a way, found a way to break into Forge and Theater. I've heard people talk about there's like, some uh, performance issues when it comes to Forge, and yeah, that's kind of understandable when you're playing on PC, you unlock it, and it doesn't exactly work out the way it's intended because, well, it's not intended for PC. You have a whole new input device you need to take in consideration that they're working on as well. And they're looking to add more content to it to give people more variety and more things to do in Forge to be the biggest and best Forge that's ever come to Halo Reach. 
Now talking about theater, they do mention how it's not as great of a scale when it comes to uh, bringing theater into the PC version. It's more about just giving the PC players the expected experience when it comes to using theater in these older Halo titles. Uh, things like using, having remappable key bindings is super important and also just having a solid sense of feel when it comes to using like your free cam and stuff like that to where like you the movement of your character within or just your camera camera within uh, the engine feels like it would when it comes to even playing with the controller and so they're saying that it's not gonna be that big of an issue when it comes to bringing this back I'm sure that this will be brought in rather soon so I'm sure a lot of these feels and kind of expectations when it comes to using theater mode are going to be tested in this upcoming flight for Halo 2 Anniversary. As they mentioned here in the update, saying that in theater, they'll be available to use keyboard and mouse in Halo 2 Anniversary's theater. So I'm sure you can probably use a lot of that experience when it comes to flighting it in the release of, say, all the other theater modes as well. Now, I will be testing it out, guys. I will be making videos on it. So if you want to stay up to date with that stuff, make sure you follow the channel here. Keep yourselves updated with comes to that kind of content now a bit of thoughts and opinions when it comes to this whole update i am kind of really waiting for this to finally come out i think they might have actually might have missed their window when it comes to uh theater and force coming out especially for halo reach uh, i'm assuming that with the uh, upcoming titles like Halo 2 Anniversary, which will have Theater and Forge, uh, at least for the console, and we least will not have Theater for uh, PC as well. Uh, Forge will not be tested on PC for this upcoming flight, guys, so keep that in mind. Uh, but as we get closer and closer to, like, say, Halo 3, I'm assuming we'll have Forge and Theater on launch for Halo 3 on PC, which is going to be absolutely huge guys though i can't help but feel about 343 kind of missed the window of opportunity with halo reach uh, as the population has decreased quite a bit you really can't find any ranked games whatsoever for halo reach and that's understandable because obviously it was a divisive game it wasn't the game that everyone liked like it was like for halo 2 and halo 3 especially so you gotta keep that in mind the population drop will happen uh though and also maybe like a little bit of excitement when it comes to creating content for that will probably die out but also keep in mind that custom game experience in that community is way different than your matchmaking community as well uh the reaches forge was just a huge upgrade from halo 3 it was kind of ridiculous what they added in to make it just a so much greater grander experience some classic game modes were made through uh, halo reaches forge as one well, i'm sure a lot of people are looking forward to that stuff in uh, halo reach as well so you guys that's everything that we have to talk about when it comes to forge and theater update in the halo community if we got a chance to test it out for this update upcoming flight for Halo 2 Anniversary, I'll definitely give it a go, guys, and give you guys my opinion on the experience of it as well. If you're new to the channel, make sure you tap the subscribe button. It keeps you up to date with everything going on within the Halo community. And also, if you're still new to the channel, guys, I got links right there for the uh, previous news update videos I've posted on the channel. Pretty much everything you need to know. If you've been out of the loop for the last week or so, or any other, anything in the last couple of days, I got a video for you right there. So check it out, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.